All right, so we just looked at a way to interpret and see arithmetic, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division through steps on a number line. Now we're going to look at how do we view exponents in a similar style. Well, before with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, you know, the next step was always some number plus the previous step. Or the previous value. So in other words, you know, if we were doing steps of one going from five to six, you know, our next step is just one more than our current step. You know. Or we could be doing multiplication, multiplying by fours. So going from eight to twelve. So our next step is four more than our current step. Well, with exponentiation, something like three to the fourth, our next step is going to be some fixed number times our current step. Yeah. Previous is a little misleading. And if we're multiplying, we don't want to start at zero, like we've been doing for addition and multiplication. Because zero times any number is just going to give us zero. So we're not going to get anywhere if we start with zero. In order for this to be meaningful in any way, we've got to start at one. So if we look at three to the fourth, three is what you multiply by to get your next step. So one times three, that's the next step. Three times three, this is step two. Three times nine, this is step three. And then three times 27, is 81. So these are our steps and these are the values at each step. So 3 to the fourth says multiplying where your steps are multiples of 3 moving four of these steps lands you on 81 so that's what 3 to the 4th is. Now, what if we had something like negative 3 to the 4th? This will look a little weird initially, but just go with me. If these are the values and our steps are below, we're supposed to go four steps out. And each time, we multiply the previous value by minus three. So one times minus three is minus three. Minus three times minus three will be a plus nine. Then minus 3 times 9 is a minus 27. And minus 3 times minus 27 is a positive 81. So once again, we get 81 as our answer here. So don't let this confuse you because you know, this isn't quite a number line. You know, you've got minus 3 to the right of 1 and to the left of 9. So that's not where it's supposed to be. But if we just think about this as just putting a value on each tick mark 
and not caring about any kind of ordering here. The only ordering we really care about is on the steps, then this is okay. You know, we can have these weird jumps on the number line. So that takes care of a negative in the base, as we call it. The base is the number at the bottom. It's the number you multiply to get to the next step. And the exponent is the number of steps you take. So we dealt with a negative base. What happens if we have a negative exponent? Well, let's think about this. Well, we're going to start at z we're going to start at 1. This is step 0. So we've got our values and our steps. Should we we should be going backwards for So in order to move forward to the right, that is, we had to multiply by the base. So over here, we'd get 3. If we took one step to the right, this would be 3. So if we want to go backwards, we have to divide by 3. Going forwards to the right multiplies by 3. So going to the left has to be the opposite. It has to be division by 3. So dividing 1 by 3 gets me a third. And dividing by 3 is really just the same thing as multiplying by a third. So this is a third times a third, which is a ninth, times a third is a twenty-seventh, and then I didn't plan this out well, but times a third, we have 1 over 81 here. So a negative exponent 1 over 81, a negative exponent just changes things by putting this value, multiplying, going, three st going four steps where the steps are multiples of three, and the negative just says, well, whatever your result is, going four steps to the right, just put it in the denominator. Or in other words, just take this value, put it in the denominator, and change the sign of the exponent. And that's all negative exponents do. But we can have things like square roots, which is another way to write this is as 4 to the 1 half. Just put the index, this number outside the radical, on the bottom and one on top. So we're saying that one whole step gets you from one to four. What would taking a step halfway between have to look like? 1 times something, and then that something times itself gets me 4. Well, the thing, I know a number, something like 2. 2 times itself gives me 4. So 2 is a half step when we're counting by 4. And we can even do things like 4 to the 3 halves, which in radical notation would be just square root of 4 cubed. So 3 halves, that's 1 and 1 half. So we're going to take, we're going to go not in steps, you know, go from step 0 to step 1. We're going to be stepping, taking half steps here. 
and we're going to take three of these half steps. So rather than going just one to four and then four to sixteen, we're going to be doing three of these little half steps. And we know this is two, so one times two gives us two, two times two gives us four, four times two, that gets us eight. So in a system that counts by four, doing three halves of a step lands you on the number eight. So that's the idea of exponents. When the exponent is just a nice number, you're just counting where your steps are multiplying by the base, and you take however many steps your exponent tells you. Whereas when your exponent is a fraction, what you're doing is rather than taking whole steps, figure out what the smallest, you know, half step or third step or quarter step or whatever you need to, and then use your numerator to take that many steps. Here we have three half steps. If we looked at 81 doing a three-quarter step. Think about how we could get to 81 in four steps. Well, if you remember, we already answered that question on at the very beginning that if you multiply by three after each step, this gets you nine, three times three is nine, nine times three is 27, and then 27 times three is 81. Well, if we're just gonna take three of these quarter steps, we've landed on 27. So that's the kind of motivation and what's going on with exponents.